Hello, my name is Siti Hamida and I'm from Malaysia Global Trading Center. Today we'll be learning the SDH principle. The contents of this topic will be SDH overview, frame structure and multiplexing methods and also overheads and pointers. Let's move to the first subtopic which is SDH overview. What is SDH? SDH is the abbreviation of Synchronous Digital Hierarchy. It is a transmission system which defines the characteristic of digital signals including frame structure, multiplexing method, digital rates hierarchy and interface code pattern. Why did SDH emerge? Well, it is need for a system to process increasing amount of information. Also, it is the new standard that allows interconnecting equipment of different suppliers. The advantages of SDH. As we can see here, th these are the differences of the electrical interface and optical interface of PDH and the SDH. For the SDH electrical interface, it provides universal standards for network node interfaces or NNI. Therefore, SDH equipment of different vendors can be easily interconnected. For the SDH optical interface, it adopts universal standards and the opposite terminal equipment can be interconnected with the SDH equipment of different vendors. The disadvantages of PDH As PDH system adopts the asynchronous multiplexing method, which the locations of the lower signals are unable to be identified from the higher speed signals. Therefore, the low rate signals cannot be directly added or dropped from the PDH high rate signals. And then, the adding or dropping low rate signals from the high rate signals must be conducted level by level, causing impairment to the signals during multiplexing and demultiplexing process, which will increase and transmission performance will decrease. As the low rate SDH signals are multiplexed into the frame structure of high rate SDH signals via byte interleaf multiplexing method, their location in the frame of high rate SDH signal are fixed and regular. Therefore, the low rate SDH signal, for example, STM1 here, it can be directly added or dropped from high rate signals, for example, the STM16. This simplifies the multiplexing and demultiplexing process of signals and makes the SDH hierarchy especially suitable for the high rate and large capacity optical fiber transmission system. In PDH OAM function, the frame structure of PDH signals, there are few overhead bytes used for operation administration and maintenance OAM. The fact that few overhead bytes are used for the OAM of PDH signals is also the disadvantage for layered management, performance monitoring, real-time service dispatching, bandwidth control and alarm analyzing and locating of the transmission network. Therefore, in SDH OAM function, the abundant overhead bits for operation, administration and maintenance OAM, its functions are arranged in the frame structure of SDH signals. The greatly enforces the network monitoring function. The SDH has high compatibility which means that the SDH transmission network and the existing PDH transmission network can work together while establishing the SDH transmission network. SDH network can be used for transmitting the PDH service as well as the ATM and also the FTDI signals. The basic transport module STM1 of SDH signals in SDH network can accommodate three PDH digital signal hierarchies and other hierarchies such as ATM, FDDI and DQDB. This reflects the forward and backward compatibility of SDH and guarantees smooth transition from PDH to SDH network and from SDH to ATM. The comparison between SDH and PDH One significant advantage of SDH is that the system reliability is greatly enhanced since many overhead bytes for OAM function are employed in SDH signals. To transmit the same amount of valid information, PDH signals occupy less frequency bandwidth which is transmission rate than the SDH signals. 
Therefore, STM1 occupies a frequency bandwidth larger than that needed by PDH E4 signals. The complex mechanism of pointer justification is the pointer constantly indicates the location of low rate signals so that the specific low rate signal can be properly demultiplexed in time of unpacking. Thanks for watching.